<clears throat> hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Jitty. So, today I kind of thought, you know what? Let's get rid, of, get rid of all the, you know, analytical stuff and stuff. Let's try to make a fun video. So, today I have two psychological tricks for you. I might make another one too later. But, yeah, okay. So, these are my two psychological tricks so you can play on other people. And, uh, of course, you can also use it to quiz yourself. Okay, so the starting one is literally finding out what you think of yourself and how you want people to think about you, okay? So, number one, if you could be any animal in the entire world, what would you be? Okay, so most people are going to think of their favorite animal. I would go with a lion, right, because it's my favorite animal. Okay, and then they'd say, okay, what if, well, if you could not be that animal, what other animal would you be, right? I'd probably say, you know what, probably a tiger, right? And then if you could not be that animal, what would you be? Probably say a great white shark, okay? So if you have these three, don't think about it too much. Kind of just think about, number one, if you could be any animal, what you would be. Number two, if you could not be that animal, what, what other animal would you be? Number three, if you could not be those two animals, what would you be? All right? Number one is how you want people to perceive you, right? So if you said lion, tiger, like what I just said, the first one means that you want people to think that you're very aggressive, right? And then you're very um, strong. And then number two is how people actually see you. So if you said something like a dog, probably people think that you're very friendly. If you said something like an owl, people think you're very intelligent, right? And then the last one is what you truly are. So whatever you said the last one was, for example, you said like a bear, you know, you're probably very open to different things and you're very uh, big and cuddly and yeah. So that's the first one. Go ahead and try that on your friends and let me know how that worked. The second one is the finger interlocking one. Go ahead and get your uh, hands like this. Okay, get your fingers out like this. Go ahead and separate them. And if you just leave them and just stop putting the pressure on your hands, they will eventually touch. It is so weird. Okay, watch. I'm going to leave it right here, right? Interlock your hands really tight. And then just breathe out. And then just stop feeling your hands and they will eventually touch. It is crazy. Go ahead and try it for yourself and let me know how it goes. Okay, and then don't try to resist it, of course, right? Just kind of... Breathe out, relax, and just let your fingers kind of do their own thing. And it's really weird. They don't just stay out. Like, right now, I'm relaxing. They don't come close. But here, it's really crazy. All right? And then the last one is, ooh, what was the other one? I'll go ahead and pull it up in my notes. It's like, oh, yeah, right here, right here. Okay. So you're going to have to write down the word carrot on a piece of paper. Give it to your friend. And then tell them not to look at it. Tell them to hold on to it so then there's no cheating. And then ask them what's one plus one. Wait for them to answer. They're gonna say two. Then you're gonna say what's two plus two. Then you're gonna wait for them to answer. They're gonna say four. Then you're gonna keep going, you're gonna keep going until you get eight plus eight. So you're gonna say three plus eight. so once you get once they see four, you're gonna say what's four plus four, you're gonna say eight, and then you're gonna say what's eight plus eight, you're gonna say sixteen. After they answer sixteen, ask them to name a vegetable and ninety percent of the time, okay, like right now, okay. I'm going to do it to you guys. What's, what's 1 plus 1? Okay, you guys say 2. What's 2 plus 2? You guys answer 4. What's 4 plus 4? 8. And then what's 8 plus 8? 16. What's your favorite vegetable? Chances are, 90% of you said carrot. Don't know why. Don't know how. It just works. So those are the three psychology <clears throat> tricks you should play on your friends. Use them wisely, of course. And yeah, guys, have fun with it. See you tomorrow with a brand new video.